Today is Wednesday. I picked one and I got another one. So they're starting to come in. Got a ton more on here. More in the pipeline up there. Getting ready to lower these again pretty soon. Doing fine. Let's check and see any any changes over here. Oh yeah. Let's give you an idea. It's just about ready. There's four right there. Some more little ones as you go up. Let's look in here and see what we got. Aha! <laughs> Nice. Okay. Leaves are looking pretty good. Plants doing well. Let's see what's due over here. Got a melon in here. Not very really big yet. But nevertheless, got something. Stuck a pumpkin in here. See how it does. There's another one in here. Some roots. Bell pepper. This thing's just about to the top of this cage. One on right there. Bunch of flowers on here. This thing's loaded up. Back side of this guy. Okay. Got some zinnias. More cucumbers over here. Traditional. A goliath tomato. Some flowers in the back. Got some extra room in there to put some other stuff. Well, one of these tomatoes is not doing well. Probably gonna have to pull this guy out. He's got the wilt. Just won't quit. Yellowing wilt. Next door, healthy, healthy wilt. So I think it's about time to just call it a day on this guy and get him out of here. Pull you out. I'll replace you with something else. Oh, decent roots. Don't see anything weird going on there. But you'll water this and it won't even hardly recover from the uh, from the wilt. And get this out of here. So over here. Until we can uh, we'll put that in the compost. All right, so one fail there. I got some other plants I can put in there. There's a couple weeds in there. Clear that out. Get out of there. All right. Other than that, things are looking pretty good. Some small tomatoes. Little tomatoes all over the place. That guy looks like he's getting kind of stuck on there. Let's move that around a little bit. Potatoes starting to die back. I dug a few out. I dug about five out. Little red ones out of here. Decent size. Yeah, there's going to be a bunch in there. I don't think they're going to set any size records, but uh, I'll be doing all right. Now, we got some bug infestation down here. Dun, dun, dun. These guys will eat, chow everything, get off of there. Plant's looking a little yellow since I put it in. We'll get that taken care of. Another Goliath over here. Uh, looking pretty good. Got some fruit on these plants down here. This is the alcufa. 
small plant, compact, bushy, very green and healthy. A little aphid on there. A few aphids here and there. No wild rampant infestation now. These guys have topped their cages, so we're going to have to do something in the next 10 days or so or they'll fall over. No fun. It's supposed to rain a bunch too. We'll see. This bed's just about done. These onions are starting to fall over. I picked a bunch of them. And uh, we'll redo this bed. And maybe we'll stick some corn in there. I don't know. Maybe something else. We will see. Another bed of onions back here. So pretty much all falling over, so these can all be pretty much picked. They're small, they're not giant. These are some medium day onions. And they're not quite ready yet. They're doing a little better than the short days. Plan the short and medium. Planted a bunch of uh, flower seeds in here and threw some straw on it. It's been 90 degree plus days. So it'll be nice to get some rain, get some more of these seeds coming up. Some of them are coming up already. Let's see here. Focus. Focus, focus, focus. There we go. So right there in the middle, that's a sunflower. You get the idea. Here, there's a bunch of other ones too. Right there. Pull out. Tiny little things. Check the blueberries. Mm -hmm. See the chipmunks running in and out of here and uh, birds getting in here. See, some, see a berry right there on the ground. Do -do. They've been busy. Let's see. Doesn't quite look just right yet. But let's see. There's some back there too. There were a bunch of big ones on here, but our good buddies out here are helping us eat them all before we. We're ready to eat them, so. Anyway. This is an artisan cherry. It's got like stripes on it. It's pretty cool. This thing's dense. Super dense. Doing well. Happy with that. Onions. Back side of the tomatoes. Got some garlic here. It's about to flowers are about to pop open. These things are all curled up and they stand straight up. That one looks like it's going to be a decent size. Down in here. Yep. Giving this area a rest over here. It's just covered up. Back side of the onions. Over there. There were some briars over there and my planting table was over there. I moved that out, cleared it out. So got some more room over there. We could do some more stuff with it. It's always nice to have a little extra room. Possibilities. Oh wow, a whole bunch of them coming up there too. Yep. Okra. Got flower there. Pod there. Pod there. The third one is behind a little bit. But it's going to all do fine. This is uh, asparagus in here. Got a little rose right there. These things get black spot stuff on it. It's always a problem. It's looking alright.
And we're back around for a lap. Let's go up here. There's always more, isn't there? A little pepper down there. These are clippings off the big hydroponic tomato. This one is. This is a red deuce over here. Greek pepperoncini. A couple different cucumbers. Some more tomatoes, some onions. This is a uh, chocolate hob. These gar little garlic were pulled. Some basil in there. Flowering up. It's looking good. Let's go over to the porch. These are peppers my friend gave me. We traded off. I traded him a bunch of plants. He traded me some. So we got, he likes to grow the hotter, more exotic peppers. So, And then uh, some staples. He always grows like uh, red cayennes and such in there. Some of it's not labeled, so it'll be a mystery. We'll just wait and see. These are some seeds I started a while back. This one in the middle here almost died this guy got a little sunburn sweet cherries look good ready to be topped this one Bob gave me I topped it starting to shoot out some uh, growth here already it's a great pepper that pepperoncini that was topped some pumpkins in these cups see how the roots look. Just starting to peek out a little bit. These were started really recently so they're tiny. Gave one of the celeries away, got one left. Sunflowers, gonna shoot out of sunflowers, gonna get itty bitty thing. <laughs> this was a cutting. Uh, it's got some flower pods on it already. Cutting off the same plant. It's got some more pods on it, flowers, Greek pepperoncini starting to flower, alright gang, that's going to do it for today, we'll see you next time, God bless you all.